beautiful papers and welcome to how to kill a kit with style for the month of July. Um, I have made a mega kit. Let me show you. I don't know that you can see tons and tons of stuff and I will go through it but um, fairly quickly. Look at all of that paper. Okay so how I created my kit this month was I just went through everything that I own and I pulled anything and everything that I wanted to play with. Um, so there is no rhyme or reason. I didn't look to see if anything even goes together or matches or what. So this is kind of how I used to scrapbook before. I would pick my paper and then I would go through my embellishments and just go through all my stuff and that's how it worked. I have gotten into um, using kits, which are great, um, but I really wanted to go back a little bit. So um, we will start with the papers and I am going to flip through them very quickly because there's a huge stack. So, and if you have any questions about any of the products, just let me know um, and I can give you the details. So this is a piece of acetate that I got from my friend Sharon and I love it and I want to somehow incorporate that. So, and then I have this specialty paper from Maggie Holmes. And then some of these papers are super cheap from Joann's American Crafts, the thin ones. And some of them are quite old, like, well, this one's from 13, but I know that there's even older ones. Kaiser Craft. Normally this one, I use this side of the paper, but I want to use this side of the paper this time, I think. This is a um, bubble wrap piece of paper that I made, um, and that's just been sitting in my stash. This is a piece of Bow Bunny from 14. This is a piece of Prima from 18. This is a piece of paper that I gessoed the back so that I can use that. This one is from Cloud9 Designs from 2007. Quick quotes. Some postcard paper cut apart. Cosmo Cricut from 07. More Cosmo Cricut from 07. More Cloud9. I will not be using this. Hold it for the neutral. Yeah, these are from Joann's, more from Joann's. I don't even know where these ones came from. Take note from Fancy Pants, another take note. This one's from Fancy Pants in 2010. Fancy Pants 2014. Heidi Grace Designs. More quick quotes. This one was actually a layout I had made. It goes like this, and I never used it. So I actually want to use this side of the paper. Farmhouse from 12. The sweetest thing. Random piece of paper. Teresa Collins from 14. More Joanne's. Simple stories. Now and then, SEI, some baseball paper, just a piece of cardstock, more Heidi Grace, some baseball paper, more American Crafts, cut apart sheet that is from Good Vibes, and that one is from Confetti. Another piece of pretty acetate from Amy Tan. Pink Paisley. 
uh, Penelope D, Heidi Swap Emerson Lane, Paper Pad Piece, Good Vibes, Sun Bleached from Coco Vanilla, Head Apart Sheet, Shine, Gather, uh, Dear Lazy Daydreamer, Gather, Cute Girl, I have two of those, Pineapple Crush, Couple from Twilight, Family and Co, Pink Fresh, Dream On, Echo Park, Happiness is Homemade, Cosmo Blue on my desk, Chasing Dreams, more Twilight, uh, Flourish, Million June, My Bright Light, paper pad and from Joanne. So tons and tons of paper because I love to layer. So then 12 by 12 stickers. I have this one from My Mind's Eye that has a few pieces left on it. This one is Capture Life from Echo Park. This one is from Photoplay. Look, it's almost gone. Um, this one is RSVP from Basic Gray. Uh, Jack and Jill from Echo Park. This one is Simple Stories Posh and Simple Stories I Am. Then I went through my chipboard. This is Open Book. I don't know what this one is. Some Valentine's one. This one is Good Vibes. This one is Now and Then. From my mind's eye and there's only a few and I know I've tried to use this before so I'm gonna try again and then um, this is Willow Lane and it only has one piece left so shouldn't be an issue getting that on now we'll head into embellishments so this was um, an American crafts piece made for Hobby Lobby I got some arrow clips, uh, some Maggie Holmes tiny stickers, a um, couple of thickers, the lucky ones. Those are almost gone. Dear Lizzie thickers, great for titles. This Maggie Holmes uh, collection recollection. I have a few beach photos, so I have a little bit of summer light stickers and a few little chipboards. I have thickers one of a kind from Vicki Booten. I've done one side, so I just have one side to go. Then a couple of, I think this is, was the pebble sheet that went together. Some Family & Co. Puffy stickers. I have one piece of this Heidi Swap chipboard left, so I want to get that on the way out. From Magnolia Moments, I have one, two full border strips and two mini strips. And then, I know I have lots of stuff, guys. So, My Mind's Eye on Trend to Ephemera Pack. This word fabulous from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. This wood veneer from Cute Girl. A little bit of this Stargazer um, ephemera pack left from Dear Lizzie. This is the Maggie Holmes open book florals, which I've already tapped into a little bit. And then I have been keeping this piece of packaging. So I am going to use it. Um, I have got some Illustrated Faith uh, enamel hearts. 
some Pink Fresh Studio Let Your Heart Decide stitched frames. I have two of these acetate frames left from Freckled Fawn. I have the Jack and Jill Ephemera Pack, the BU Mini Leatherette Tags, the, these puffy camera stickers. I have this little sticker sheet that has three pieces on it. I have some Pink Fresh Epoxy stickers from The Mix, some of the Ephemera Pack from My Story, My Mind's Eye, I've got some Bella Boulevard bows along with fabric bows, pleather bows, and then I have some almost finished packages of enamel dots. So I thought those would be good and they have all kinds of colors. So I figured that would fit in well. And then I have a couple of wood veneer letters, I and you. Some frames. These are buttons from Chamel. I don't know what collection they go to. And then three Wild Heart paper clips left. And then I have these Gossamer Blue paper clips, and I may use them as is paper clips or take the epoxy pieces off. I have um, these badges from, I don't know, but they're very cute. Shop evil, evilicious. This way badge buttons. Okay. And some tags from the yellow door. Some fun summary tags from the paper studio. The ephemera pack for, I want to say patio party. That one is unopened. And then I have two puffy stickers for flourish. I have a few uh, puffy hearts left from Amy Tan. Sorry about the glare. And then these are Dear Lizzie flags. I have three of those left. And because I didn't have enough paper, I pulled in some six by six pads. So I pulled in Wander, and there's maybe less than half of, maybe half of that one left. Yellow Door, I think only has like five pieces of paper. One, two, three, four, yeah. Five pieces of paper left in that one. Um, Chasing Dreams, also very low. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six papers in that one. Happy Place has four pieces in it. And then um, Echo Park Summer Dreams, I have not tapped into at all. So super excited being it's summer. We're going to do some summer photos. I grabbed Good Vibes, which uh, is over halfway gone as well. And then I grabbed C'est La Vie, which is hardly touched at all. So that is my mega kit. And the reason I have a mega kit is I am going to be doing a series um, Called off the board and a couple of the other ladies that do how to kill a kit with style will be joining me so basically I'm going to take one pin from my Pinterest board every day for the month of July and create something with that pin so I hope you join me along with that and I will see you every day this month bye